listening to God and his word sounds pretty simple. But all of us know how challenging it is to be a really good listener. I believe it starts with silence. This is one of the major gifts I have received in being in the north, in the Dene world. People do not knock when they come to a door of someone's house. Probably this stems from the futility of trying to make a sound by tapping on the wall of a tent or a teepee or igloo. In the Dene world, you don't knock or ring the bell. You simply open the front door and step into the porch and wait there. You wait for a bit, you cough, something like that, make a little noise. And if no one comes to the porch, then you come back another time. And if someone is knocking, they know it's the RCMP or a nurse, not someone from the community. <laughs> Many a time in my rectory, called the Yatiquin, the priest's house, I'd have some music on, and finally I'd hear a <coughs> from the porch area. It made me spend more of my day with no TV or music on. I grew comfortable with the silence to the point where the furnace fan or the fridge running was noticeable. Something about this silence did something to the silence within me. I noticed that I could sit still more easily, that I was more attentive to things and people and even myself. The biggest benefit was that God seemed a little louder. Mother Teresa of Calcutta said, where there is silence, there is prayer. Where there is prayer, there is faith. Where there is faith, there is love. And where there is love, there is God. But it all begins with silence. In order to follow someone and not lose them, we have to keep hearing and seeing where they are. Maybe each of us can increase a little the silence in our own lives. Silence can help us to see and hear God more consistently. 